Hi, I'm Matt Island and I'm actually one of the lecturers at the School of Biomedical Sciences here at CSU and I've been asked to put this little recording together to show everybody how I can essentially go about using my Apple iPad when I give online lectures and tutorials and how I can use the Apple Pen that comes with the iPad to actually draw during these lectures and tutorials to make them much more interactive for the students. So I hope you find it useful and if you've got any questions or concerns or comments please feel free to contact me. Okay, so let's talk about the equipment I have. Uh, I run a Mac uh, with two monitors, both in my office at work and in my home office as well. For me, uh, Apple products are a bit of a personal preference for many reasons, uh, mostly because I find them incredibly reliable and very user friendly, which I think is particularly important when you're running an online session at 8 o'clock at night and something goes wrong, which happens to all of us. You want to find a solution to that very quickly and I found Apple products are ideal for those type of situations. So aside from my iMac, I have got the latest iPad Pro, uh, which is an absolutely beautiful tablet, uh, along with the Apple Pen, which acts essentially as a stylus. In terms of software on my computer and iPad, I use Firefox as the web browser, mostly because it's very adaptable, and I've found over the years that it's vastly superior to Chrome, or even Safari, because numerous extra plugins can actually be installed. There's also a second program called Reflector 2. Reflector 2 is a program that's produced by a US company called Squirrels. I, many, I tried many different types of, of programs. Essentially, I wanted something that would allow me to mirror what was on my iPad to the computer. And so I set it on this because it's, again, it's just very user friendly and I've been incredibly impressed with it so far. So as you can see from this picture here that I copied off their website, even if it's a phone or a, an iPad, whatever I'm doing on that, it gets copied to the screen. And when you put that together with an Adobe Online recording, and if you've got a pen that you're actually drawing on your iPad, it means that students can follow what you're doing. And of course, it makes online sessions much more interesting for the students, which is exactly what I'm actually hoping for. So the other great thing about Reflector 2 is that it's actually not restricted to Macs. So this is again a screenshot from their website. You can actually get this for PCs. You can actually get this for Android devices as well. If I remember correctly, I paid about $15 US, which included two licenses, which I actually thought was actually quite reasonable. So let me show you how this all comes together. Okay, so first things first, this is actually my iMac. I'm actually just going to select now uh, Reflector 2. And so this has actually started the reflection. So I've got my iPad in front of me. My iPad's actually connected to my big computer. And what I'm seeing on the iPad is actually being reflected on the actual screen itself. Okay, so let's just say a, a couple of examples, for instance. Sometimes when I actually uh, give a lecture, what I'll do is I'll actually use some of these anatomy programs, their, their apps. A fantastic one that I commonly use when I'm trying to reinforce stuff to students is actually something called Essential Anatomy 5. Now, this is absolutely beautiful. What I've got here is a skeleton, and I can rotate it in three dimensions. But not only that, I can actually add certain types of layers. I can add muscle all the way, I can take that muscle away, I can add arteries, I can add the venous system, uh, the nervous system, connective tissue, the respiratory, digestive, it goes on. And so this is an absolutely uh, essential app that I use giving lectures because it really reinforces what I've been talking about. And not only that, I mean, I can actually zoom into incredible levels here. And if I wanted to, I can actually select specific type of artery or vein and it actually gets identified. So here's the abdominal aorta. So again, I'm not drawing anything. I'm actually just using the apps on my iPad that's reflected onto the screen. So let's go back a bit. I know a lot of people are very interested in the apps that I use when I'm actually drawing. There's two in particular that I, I use. The first one is actually Adobe Sketch. Uh, it's a very simple, it's free. And what it does is it actually just allows you to draw anything that you want. So for instance, I can just choose a pen here um, and I, I can just start writing like, you know, Max, uh, cool. Okay, um, sorry, my sense of humor. Um, and so, uh, again, it, it's real time. Everything I'm writing here is actually getting reflected. Another uh, app that I like to use quite commonly is actually 
penultimate. And this is actually a really good one. This is something I drew for another student, another class. Um, it's part of the Evernote program. And essentially what it is, I can draw stuff, but not only that, I've got an enormous amount of flexibility in the type of pages I use. For instance, that was a graph that I just showed you before. What happened if I wanted to use dotted, for instance? You know, you can draw stuff out in a three dimension. You can use different types of colors, different types of layers. And again, real time. And it's very, very easy too, if you just want to like rub it away. Okay, so that's what how these apps can work. But how exactly do they work with Adobe Connect? Well, that's even easier. So I've got Adobe Connect here. And I've just loaded up beforehand. The first thing I'll do is I'll actually get rid of all of these things on the side that I don't really need. I'll make that a little bit bigger. And so when it comes to Adobe Connect, it's just a matter of share uh, my screen. And I actually just go to use the main display, which is just down here. And again, I, I, I've got it up here. I'm actually sharing it. So everything the students see, I see. I hope that's been really, really useful. But again, I, I cannot speak highly of these programs. They're absolutely fantastic. Especially, again, Adobe Sketch for Reflector uh, and even Pen Ultimate. But especially these other app applications when it comes to anatomy and physiology. So I really hope that you've actually found this useful. Again, if you've got any questions or concerns, please email me or even just contact me. Thanks, guys. See you later.